I also wanted to talk about monthly returns, the Bitcoin monthly returns. If you have been watching, you know, some of my recent, uh, actually most of my recent updates on Bitcoin, we talked about monthly returns during a recovery year. When Bitcoin is recovering from a bear market, the performance is normally 50-50. And by 50-50, I mean you have 50% you know, annual based. You have basically six months of positive returns. Or it could be seven. But normally you have six months of positive returns. And you also have six months of negative returns. And again, could be seven. So is give, you know, plus or minus one. And so far in 2023, we've had four positive months of returns. So the first four months of 2023 have been positive. So January, Bitcoin was up 39%. February, not so much. But, but, it, but positive returns, of course. March, Bitcoin was up 22%. And April, Bitcoin was up 2%. So my prediction is that in 2023, more likely, we only have about two to three months of positive returns. So we are going to see two months I think we are going to see two months again, plus or minus. So you can have less than six or you can have more than six. So I think we only have about, you know, two or three or maybe let maybe just one more month, you know, of positive returns in 2023. And after that, I mean, the rest of 2023, like it is going to be a real struggle. Like we are going to pull back. We are going to pull back for, you know, four to six months in 2023. And again, the first half, the first half of 2023 has been positive. So I am expecting the second half of 2023 to be negative. So I am expecting pain. And this is exactly what you should anticipate ahead of time. So when it does happen, you don't panic. When it does happen, you do not want to be panicking, right? Based on the recovery years, when Bitcoin is out of the bear market, when Bitcoin is recovering, Bitcoin tends to have a 50-50. And again, in terms of performance, you tend to have six months, again, plus or minus one of positive returns and six months. And again, plus or minus one of negative returns. If you look at 2015, we had negative one, two, three, four, five. You have five negative months of returns in 2015. And then, of course, you had, you know, seven positive monthly returns. If you look at 2018, negative, you have one, two, three, four, five, six. So in 2019, we have six negative returns, six months of negative returns in 2019. So in 2023, so far, we positive for the first four months. And the performance doesn't have to be consecutively, right? So, you know, it could be all over the place, uh, but so months, uh, so far, you know, first four months consecu consecutively, you know, positive returns. So based on historical performance, you know, more likely one to two more months, you know, maybe three of positive returns and the rest of 2023, you know, we should prepare for pullbacks like we should prepare for pullbacks now i also want to introduce what 2024 is more likely to look like uh, so 2024 is the year during the halving 
2016 was the year during the halving. And in 2016, uh, let me show you, you know, monthly returns. Uh, so negative returns in 2016, we have one, two, three, four. All right. We have four negative returns in 2016. And this was the halving year. Normally, you know, during the halving year, when Bitcoin, you know, has its halving, you know, Bitcoin tends to be positive for majority of the year. So we tend to be positive for about six, uh, excuse me, for about, yes, for about six to eight months and sometimes even nine months. And we only tend to be negative for four or less months, right? So only between, you know, one to four months, we actually tend to be negative. And again, in 2016, you know, positive returns, uh, you know, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you had eight months of positive returns. Now in 2020, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Another eight months of positive returns. And again, 2020 and 2016 was the year when Bitcoin, uh, uh, when Bitcoin is halving, right? The halving year, you know, Bitcoin tends to be positive for about six to eight months. So more months of very bullish positive returns. So in 2024, in 2024, I am expecting, you know, based on past performance, like I'm expecting Bitcoin to be very bullish. So in every pullback, you know, every pullback in 2024 represents a massive opportunity. Every pullback in 2024 represents a massive opportunity. So the way that I'm actually, you know, trying to think of this is that for the remainder of 2023, you know, those six months of negative returns are going to represent opportunity. And you want to be accumulating, you know, during these negative monthly returns of 2023. And the reason is because in 2024, you know, more likely, you know, Bitcoin is going to be positive, you know, for a months. So if you can accumulate, you know, during the period when Bitcoin is bearish in 2023, in 2024, when Bitcoin is bullish, you are going to be uh, like you are going to be in a very good spot because, you know, all that you accumulate you know, during the next couple months is going to be positive, you know, when Bitcoin is going up in 2024. So again, in 2024, you know, more likely eight months or more of, po of positive returns and only about one to four months of negative returns. So you have to keep your eyes on you know, the upcoming months and you have to approach it from a long-term outlook because otherwise, you know, if you stay on the sideline, then you're more likely, you know, when the price, you know, starts to recover, you're more likely to buy at a higher valuation. So what we have right now is an incredible opportunity. And, and if you still have some cash on the sideline, you know, the rest of 2023, you know, should provide the opportunity to deploy, you know, your, your capital.